Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Two Cents Beat. My name is Sadi, and today I am back with more The Apothecary Diaries. Okay, so last episode, a lot of stuff was discussed and talked about. We got a lot of inner palace politics. We got a lot about the past. We got a, a concubine being removed from her position. We had a head lady in waiting being executed. We got Mau Mau suspecting that maybe Jinchi. Oh, well, not quite, not quite Jinchi, but we had Mamo suspecting that maybe um, the little brother of the emperor is actually his son because the babies were born around the same time and then swapped. But if I remember correctly, we're not going to be dealing with that anymore. At least not in this episode. We're going to be taking, hi Mazzy, we're going to be taking a little bit of a detour because now with all the stuff that happened with the head lady in waiting Feng Ming and like her being punished and executed a lot of her family is now having to take the blunt of punishment as well and uh it seems like Mao Mao is somehow connected to Feng Ming that was the cliffhanger that we got last episode and if I remember correctly that means there's a part coming soon that I have been waiting for to see animated since the very beginning. This is what this is gonna be another one of those episodes where it's like, here it is, here it is. Oh. So I'm super excited to just jump on into this episode. I have, if I can get it from under my cat, I have. Okay, I can't get it. I have the manga right here, but my cat is on top of the manga, so I'm not gonna try and get it if my cat moves. Hopefully I'll be able to compare it alongside as the episode is rolling because that's what I do. So with all of that, how about we just jump on into this episode and see what's gonna happen. Let's go. Ah. Eighty out of a thousand. Mm-hmm. And out of those 80, there's one. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Which, again, falls back to what she was saying. Yep. Oh, my God. The music right now is so great. And the voice acting, too. Like, you can feel it. Oh, <gasps> oh the, that note. Just, just the convenient pawn, isn't she? Hmm. <laughs> She's just like, hmm, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And she was in debt to that right now. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. She's like, wait, no, I gotta fix this. She has a feeling. Her instincts are really good. Oh my gosh, they're really showing how much she's like... Ugh. They, I feel like they really extended it. I still can't get my book because my cat's still on it, but... Oh. Is he also looking for her? Oh my god. <gasps> they're probably like just missing each other. <gasps> there he is! Mm -hmm. He's so... What is the word? Downcast? Mm. And there's her name. Oh, but he, she's not. He doesn't think of her like that, just like that anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, how is he gonna take this? As I order, yeah. <gasps> oh. Ah! <laughs> she got let go, guys. She's gone. She's out of the palace. She's gone. There goes our girl. Oh my god. He's... Tamaki? 
He's over here in the corner growing mushrooms. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. Gaoshun, don't treat her like a toy. Oh my god. What is this? Miasma in like swamp. Oh my god. He's like howl. You, you, you. Poor, he looks so cute crying though. That's terrible. Oh, already. <laughs> wow. She looks so pretty. This is not the instance she wants to look pretty, but still gotta still gotta call a rose a rose. No kidding. This place is nice. This swanky. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh wow. Oh wow. That one's a dancer. I had no idea. That's cool. I like how they're showcasing the like atmosphere with like the gold. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Oh! That person looks familiar. Oh, wait. That voice sounds familiar too. Oh my god, it's coming. Here it is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like the second time he's told her that. <laughs> oh my god. Just yet. I felt so, <laughs> so personal. Because mm -hmm. all because she was trying to like seem like she wasn't begging. Oh, no. It's ending my spirit. <laughs> oh, and they're just like, oh. Oh, oh my god, the detail. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the t <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Oh. So somebody's gonna end there. Oh my god, we're close. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> okay, Mazzy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did say going from an insect. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's where she gets the dance from. Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. Is this where it's, is it taking like a break next week or something? Okay. Okay. My cat finally moved so I can finally get the manga. Guys. Okay. So it was finally animated. That scene that I've been waiting for has been finally animated. Like, oh, in the manga, it was so great because it was like a page flip moment. So you got like the whole setup for it, right? And then you flip the page and it's like, oh. God, and I love the way they did it in the the anime where it was like <laughs> they just put a little bit that little extra detail of like his fingers against like both of her lips and it was just <sighs> God, like the side view. The side view for this panel where he touched his fingers to oh. it was great. It was absolutely great. Fantastic. <laughs> I've been waiting for this scene and they they absolutely worked their magic absolutely great mm, and then okay in this manga they added the part where she was like in the bath and like when she was back at home with her dad and woke up and went to like sit in the outside in the snow and whatnot they added all of that because in the manga it just goes like that scene and then 
a few days later, an elegant man shows up and then he's like, he buys her basically. So yeah, even though Mama is still not back in the inner palace, kind of her feelings have been at least a little bit resolved, have a sense of being resolved. And now it's just going to be about what does Master Jinshi want <laughs> now that she's like gone off and like bought her supposedly, you know, that's not a good term to use, but that's kind of what he did. So yeah, what is, what is he going to want? Is she going to be able to return into the inner palace somehow? Is she going to be able to be back at uh, Gokuyo's... Um, uh, palace what is what is the future what does the future entail now because she's kind of kind of in limbo right now but let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video check out the socials for more anime and manga content check out patreon for early access and longer episode reactions don't forget to drink some water and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye